Hello, hello guys. San Namaste, Rev DAP. San Bonani. Anyway, we have Adele right in front of me. I'm just gonna hide the name and the number there. I don't think that would be necessary uh, for you guys to see. I don't want any issues. Hey, because you might never know in this world it's, it's very 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 hectic so anyway uh let's connect the charger and see oh wow this is bad let me show you what exactly is going on here i have a charger here right in front of me i have a charger here right in front of me and there's a light here all right watch this when you connect the charger you get the light right now watch this there is a light but the moment you connect the charger the charging light goes off hope you can see it means there's a shot on the 19 volt and this is very 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 easy to repair let's go ahead ay yeah yeah this motherboard is full of cockroaches i hope you can see 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 there yeah 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 let me just show you under the microscope. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Hmm. All dead guys there. Imagine you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. See this guy. He's dead. Yuck, 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 yuck. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, there is cousin. This is his father. Huh? I don't know what's happened to his father. His father is half. Something happened to his father. Um, there is father. This is another body. This is uh, um, some piece. Their father. I don't know what happened to their father. Ah, guys, this is serious. Mm -hmm. ah, I can't. On my desk. Yarr, yarr, yarr. I'm going to charge this guy more. I'm not going to charge him a normal amount that we will charge our clients. I'm going to charge him more because his laptop came with cockroaches and all those dead guys, dead cousins, whatever, whatever. Hey, 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 I'm gonna charge him more for this uh, laptop motherboard. I can't. Okay, there's a short when you connect the charger, the charging light goes off. All right, this will mean there's a short on the 19 volts, and this, this, and this laptop is, 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 is full of shit. All right. Um, in case you need alcohol, 100% uh, pure alcohol, we do sell, we do sell, uh, this is finished, I'll have to refill as well, um, you have to go to our website, if you, if you are looking for pure alcohol, this is the pure alcohol one liter you can check the price how much we charge but don't worry we will sell you and we can ship no matter where you are around south africa
Okay, you see where I'm turning? This is where the shot is, I believe so. Uh, okay, believe so. Guys, the more you do this thing, you end up being being the best. You know where to check for a shot, right? Do I have to tell you? Oh, okay, fine, let me tell you. Since you are lazy, you have the first MOSFET and you have the second MOSFET. After a second MOSFET, what do you have? You have the current, the current center. All right, let me show you those components. I uh, in real life how they look like because sometimes they won't be aligned as ex exactly as I align them. Scope. You have the DC in, right? This is the DC in. And there it should say, okay, there, PJP DC. That DC in. All right, let's start. You have the first MOSFET. And it's a 4407. That's seven. That's four digits. That's fourth number there. If it is an uneven number, an odd number, it means it's a P channel MOSFET and they always use P in my no 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 let me check that back in most cases they use the P channel MOSFET here in DC in you know why right because the P channel MOSFET they don't um, treat so much current there's no need for too much current so that's why they use the P channel MOSFET and even on my example here, you can see I was using the P channel MOSFET 4433. That fourth digit there, it's an old number, which means it's a B channel MOSFET. But if it was the even number, it was going to uh, be what? B and N channel MOSFET. But we have what? The last number is what? It's an odd number, so it means it's a P channel MOSFET, not an N channel MOSFET. Okay, we have the first MOSFET. After the first MOSFET, what do we have? We have the second MOSFET, which is still an uh, odd number. And, uh, and lastly, the current, current set. So what you do, you take your multimeter, you turn it into continuity mode after that you take one prop you put it to to ground you know to ground which means if they are touching the multimeter will beep and you will have zero zero or one prop to ground and if i touch here this is ground the meter will beep obviously multimeter beeps because i'm doing what i'm touching the ground Beeps. touching the ground all right so let's go back under the scope so when i touch here my meter beeps zero zero is beeps because there's a short on the 19 volts all right guys I'm, i i love you so much and i'll i won't stop spoiling you uh, let me touch it there again so that you can see the current center. It beeps with 0 0.8 ohms. There's a shot. It's beeping one way. There's a shot of 0 0.8 ohms. All right. Okay. What is causing a shot? Okay, it's easy, man. Guys, I told you. The 19 volt is easy. You don't need a DC, um, a DC bench power supply. You do need it if you are a, a newbie. Okay. I'm sorry by calling you some, with some names because some of you won't like it. But guys, this is easy, 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 easy. I'm just going to point out a short because this means there's a short on the 19 volt. Okay, let's check this guys. I believe the shot is it's coming straight from this guy.
this is very strange you won't believe this there is no shorts here you won't believe this i thought the shorts was coming straight from here wait wait what's going on here Okay, there's no shot here, but I'm gonna remove those guys. There's a shot here. Okay, just give me some time. I'm gonna show you where the shot is. I'm gonna use my eyes and look for a shot. Let's try. Alright, we still have a shot. We still have a shot of eight arms. Uh, right. Alright guys, I didn't want to use the injection uh, method uh, but due to time, I'm gonna end up using it I, I will explain why I hate using it I will explain why I prefer that you, you learn to find I mean you learn to repair some motherboard without injecting any power Preparing some pads. Uh, I know I know that uh, right now you are wondering um like how do I um uh work nicely with my tip with my flux this is what I use I use this flux it's proper it's solid uh it's smooth you can find it on my website www.jpvcomponents.co.za and don't forget to WhatsApp me if you are around South Africa. We ship everywhere, no matter where you are. We can uh, ship this kind of flaxy. And uh, anyway, stay tuned. Let's find a shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to inject a shot on the current center. You can see a current center, right? I'm going to skip the first MOSFET, second MOSFET, then on the current center. That's where I'm going to inject the, the 19 volts. And that's exactly where the shot is. Uh, right. Let me confirm that we still have a shot, even though we removed those bad capacitors. We still have a shot. I inject power straight right there. Uh, the 19 volts has been uh, injected. Let me remove the RAM. Let me remove the heat sink. Okay, it's fine. You can leave the heat sink. But do me a favor. Take one probe, put it to ground, put your meter into, into resistant mode. Check your shot there. Uh, let's check the resistance to ground. 
is 268 now let's check the, the cpu okay all right so i was um i was trying to check because I, we have to make sure that um the cpu and the 19 volts are not shorted to get uh, together because if they are you will be sending the 19 volts straight into a cpu so you have to be very careful let me check the pch as well okay they are not the same you can see the numbers oh wait before i even inject any volt i just want to remove the heat sink I don't want anything to distract me when I'm finding a shot. All right, let's go ahead. Let's inject some volt. The 19 volt has been dropped. Okay, it's getting hot here. I believe it's the other side of the board. Try to be very careful. I saw this was getting hot. I noticed that this was getting extremely, extremely hot. Or maybe the cap. But this was getting hot. This. This guy here was getting hot. Bent my finger, I'm telling you. I hope you saw. It's even boiling. Damn you. You are even boiling. all right um let's check for shot take the tenure meter into continuity mode now let's check 
there we go we found you we found you but let's be sure let's be 100 percent sure let's check on the current sensor one drop to ground no shorts anymore we found you we found the guy the bad guy this is the bad guy this is the bad guy that's tantilium capacitor that is called tantilium capacitor it was bad let me check the value i think this is a 200 and something let me check oh yes it's 220 it needs to be changed What I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this nice flux. Eh? Don't put too much, just a little bit. Yes, but guys, this flux you need to buy this flux. Eh? Guys, you need this flux, eh? guys. Guys, you need this flux. Eh? This is this is something else. This is smooth. Let me repeat again. You can find this flux on our website www.jbvcomponents.co.za, and uh, this is smooth 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 and again watch this you need a wire as well because you can't be using flux only what you need you need a wire i'm telling you watch me when i'm doing this just watch this is this, this is the wire that i use this is the wire i'm not sure if you can see and this is my soldering uh, ion it's a nice tip there it's changeable i can change it so let's go ahead let me show you how, how smooth it is watch this watch this watch this watch this oh god this is like you 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 this is like ice cream watch this I'm telling you you need to stop doing some clumsy work and start doing nice nice stuff nice stuff nice stuff nice stuff watch watch nice 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 okay i need to find a replacement one replace it just hold on yeah you can only do this with a proper flaxy with the flax that i sell i'm telling you with your pop shitty flax you can't do this and again you can only clean this pot you can only clean a pot with the hot wax with the alcohol the one that i sell on my online store you definitely need this alcohol and you definitely need this flax those caps they are back online as if uh no one touched them before can you tell 
smooth 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 with your shitty flags yes with your shitty uh so so wire believe me you will never win this you will always kill the board fly the board you need the proper proper gear proper uh, proper flags i don't know how long you're gonna continue to do those horrible jobs but anyway we will see we will see we will see we will see um go online and buy buy now don't delay Uh, now let's see let's test the board let's check one more time for a shot on the 19 volts no shots let's put it into a resistant mode i want to see how many ohms should be kilo ohms not ohms yes 0.2 k that's fine let's check for a shot on the 3.3 and the 5 volt so then let me check the 3.3 and the 5 volt no shots what about the other one no shots ah, okay i'm happy let's continue All right, let's see the charger. Let's connect the charger again. We do get a light. We do get a light. Now let's connect it. Okay. now i'm surprised there is a shot on the 19 volts again why 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 i can't i i, I can't believe this let's remove let's remove this let's check the 19 volts take your meter make sure it's on the continuity mode okay when i touch the ground it beeps it beeps meaning they are both touching now let's see if negative and positive are touching 
Yep, they are touching. Ah, wonder what happened now. I wonder which component uh, failed. All right, let's inject the uh, the nineteen volt and see what is getting hot.
All right, guys. Uh, anyway, there was a chip uh, that was getting hot, so I removed it. This one here, PU three hundred. I'm sure you saw me removing it and I uh, didn't show you uh, so I have to explain why I had to remove the chip you remember there was a shot on the 19 volt right when I checked yeah this chip right here PU300 was getting extremely extremely hot after removing it the shot was gone but you can see the condition of those components around guys they don't look good so i have, i will have to change all of them um so let's go into uh schematics i'm looking for this uh, i mean for this uh schematic and this la dash nine one zero four uh, p I don't even need the board view why do I need a board view why they're giving me a board view Dell three five two one. Let's just say three five two one. Let's search for PU three hundred. PU, then 300, and this is PU 300, and PU 300 is for 1.5 volt. Okay, this is for a RAM, a RAM. All right, this is for a RAM, 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 RAM. I believe so. And this also powers up what? VTT, VREF. Because that's 1.5 volts, I believe, is for a memory. <sighs> I don't know, I'm confused. Yeah, I believe this is for a RAM. I... Let's flip the board. Oh, next to this chip, let me show you. Next, next, next to this chip, there is a MOSFET. We need to remove it.
Anyway, I have removed those two MOSFETs. Uh, the, the reason why, let me explain why I removed the MOSFET. I'm going to look for that chip. Okay. Those two MOSFETs is because that chip controlling those two MOSFETs are meant. Okay. Which makes me believe that there's a possibility that there might be a uh, shorted. Yeah, see the values they are low 187 we need to change that one what about this and this is shorted straight i'll change this to mosfet they are not okay let's go back and um, try to look for the chip this is the chip let me zoom in more this is the chip okay i believe this is for a ram rt i believe this is for a ram 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 All right, guys. Um, uh, I managed to remove the chip. I found the replacement chip. I'm sorry that I didn't do it under the camera. You know, sometimes these things are too hectic. But anyway, that was the the chip for a RAM. So let's put back everything. If this time it doesn't display, then nah, uh, it's fine. I mean. If this time there's a shot, I'm gonna go and sleep. It's too late. All right, we have a light. So let's connect the charger and see if the charging light will go away or not. Okay, the charging light is not going away. Now let's turn on this machine. Use, uh, I'm, I'm gonna use um, the multimeter to turn this on. There we go it's turning on we have a light uh but no display it's beeping okay it's beeping all right guys uh, i'm done anyway i left yesterday and i came back today and uh, there we are. The machine is turning on. Um, the issue here was the RAM chip. The pen's chip, I removed it, right? Remember? And I, uh, I caused this was a short head, causing a short for the second time on the 19 volts. And I installed another chip. The chip I was using it was uh, 40. And I used another chip. And there we go. And I'm sorry that I didn't show you under um, under the camera. But anyway, that's it, guys. Bye-bye. Uh, I hope you will learn a thing. I will see you next time. Bye.